the evidence? Until now the Yasugarasu would always publicize any corrupt de dealings through the mass media. But not this time. The evidence this time was something only Faraday and I and so a few others knew about. Mr. Faraday must be must have been trying to keep the secret key safe. And the prosecutor on, on both the Yatsugarasu and the smuggling ring. That's to be expected. Hold on, let me just scooch the, the set up here just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And now the the knife, the aforementioned knife. It's the knife that was used to kill Mr. Faraday. Who really saw us as such a beautiful piece of art? Could be used for such a cruel act. And it's never crossed your mind that you use a riding crop for the wrong purpose. Hmm, that is odd. What is it? Mr. Faraday didn't mention anything about the knife in his organizer. That certainly is odd. The weapon that was used to kill the Colombian embassy staff member was the gun. But if that's the case, then where did the knife and that was used to murder Mr. Faraday come from. Isn't it obvious? He was brought by into the courthouse by Mr. Rowe. That's the only, lo only logical conclusion, right? No, because it, it's not that easy to smuggle a weapon like that in here. Every person who enters the courthouse is checked thoroughly for contraband. Furthermore, the suspect was handcuffed. Making it impossible for him to bring a knife as large as, as this inside. Is that the case? How, how do you suppose this knife ended up inside the courthouse? I don't know. Maybe one of the one of the attorneys brought it in defense or prosecution. I don't know. I need to think carefully here. There's nothing related to the knife written anywhere in Mr. Faraday's novel I don't know, it might, might be a uh, Callisto. Who knows? However, it is a fact that his knife, this knife, came from Mr. Faraday's evidence bag. I'm kind of thinking that Callisto planted the knife in Faraday's bag without him knowing about it. Conversely, there is one item listed in Mr. Faraday's organizer. That has, that no one has claimed to have seen today. In order to solve this mystery, I believe I will need to take another good look at this evidence. My address. Can I take the fact that you have no, that you have yet to answer me? Do you mean that you, that you don't have an answer for me? Actually, I do, I do know the answer, Francisca. What? Then what is it? One of the pieces of evidence that we've been holding has been hiding the secrets of his own. In this piece of evidence, the, the life was brought... Wait a minute. The handle of the key looks like the handle of the knife. So I guess that's... I guess that's it. Take that! Yusuf Takarasu's key, Mr. Ferry mentioned 
and his organizer. This is how the knife was brought into the courthouse. You're not making any sense, Milo's address. Hmm. You just need to look a little, a little bit closer, Francisca, to see what I mean. Yeah, see? The, it's the handle. Don't the color... Doesn't the color... Don't the color and the ornament of the keys handle remind you of anything? They do remind me of this knife. Very good. Both the Yasegrasi key and this photo and the murderous knife have a very unique design to the handles. Furthermore, even though Mr. Faraday mentions the Yasegrasi key, the, the only object we found at the crime scene was the knife. You seriously don't mean to say? It appears that you finally caught up. And yes, I do mean to say that those two pieces are, in fact, one and the same. But that's impossible! Even if, even if that is where you believe, you, st you should still investigate this possibility. Yeah. Now then, let's is it. Sorry about that, the camera just fell. Now let's just examine this knife in a little more detail. I think there should be... Hold on. I think there should be a button somewhere. Let me get the stylus out. Alright, I got the stylus out. This piece of evidence is more crucial than anything we've learned to now. Frankly, I'm shocked! Francisca, Mr. Faraday only mentioned the, the key aspects to to this piece of evidence in, in his organizer. It's possible that even he had no idea that the knife was hiding the blade inside. So it so Mr. Faraday has a key blade. <laughs> That's cool. But if that's true, suddenly someone who knew about the knife the key to the knife to pick. Could have could have killed Mr. Faraday. Even among law enforcement, this key was top secret. We're looking for someone who knew more about the key than than even Mr. Faraday. 
meaning that the only person is, it could be it could be is the one who sent the key in the first place. The great thief Yatagrasu. And about the Keyblade um, comment, Kingdom Hearts and <laughs> Phoenix Ray crossover confirmed. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to just had to make a confirmed joke. Yantagrasu. Is that he was the one who killed Mr. Faraday? Isn't that one possible scenario? No, not really. Especially since Mr. Faraday was absolutely convinced that Mr. Rell was not the Yantagrasu. Besides, as Detective Bad said earlier, but when we questioned Mr. Rell about what Gabo was sent along with the white card. Rel had no idea what, what it was. I see. Alright then. I guess the person who, who knows the trick behind the key is someone else. Is that the person with the real Yatsugarasu? Hmm. It seems that this key is truly the, the key to solving this case. And we have yet to examine the gun. This this gun. It was originally used to kill the Cordopia members of staff member. When the crime was reported, the responding police found Mr. Val holding this, which led to his immediate arrest. And then she the gun took the original shooter's life. How ironic. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything else we can learn from this piece of it. Yeah. How odd. We're one piece of it. We're short one piece of evidence. And this piece is the miss. And the piece that's missing is the surveillance video that was played in court. Surveillance video? How could a piece of evidence just disappear? Where did it go? The video showing the moment in which Mr. Vell committed the murder. What could have gone indeed? Are you done with your inspection of the evidence? Yes, I'm finished. However, Your Honor, I'm missing a single piece of prosecutorial evidence. Your Honor, what were you? Were you direct in your duties? What? No, I, I dare not select my duties. What the heck is? What's going on in your head right now, Judge? What do you ask? What do you take me for? No, Your Honor. The most, oh, the most important piece of evidence in today's trial, the surveillance video, is not among the evidence you, lay, you laid out for me. But I brought Mr. Fanny's whole bag with me from the crime scene. Maybe the tape is somewhere at the crime scene? There's something wrong here. Something about the missing piece of evidence. It would appear that for me to find, to find the answers I see, I would have to pay another visit to the scene of the crime, Defendant Lumbry number 2. And I'll see you guys there when we, in the next video, when we get to crimes, the de detective lobby number two. And this has been the Professor Tinney with another objection solved. Bye, Zeus.